It has been a dismal year on Capitol Hill. We asked our Capitol producers, John Nolan and Jill Jackson, to give us some perspective, and they remind us that on April 8th, Congress at the last minute narrowly avoided a government shutdown. On July 31st, Congress dithered so long over the debt ceiling debate that it caused a U.S. debt rating downgrade for the first time in history. And on November the 21st, the so-called Super Committee created to solve the deficit problem disbanded in failure. O for three. President Obama stepped into the White House briefing room after the House vote today and called on the Speaker of the House to reconsider and bring the Senate bill up for a vote. We have more important things to worry about than politics right now. We have more important things to worry about than saving face or figuring out internal caucus politics. We have people who are counting on us to make their lives just a little bit easier. To make understanding this a little bit easier, we turn now to Chief Washington Correspondent and anchor of Face the Nation, Bob Schieffer. Bob? Scott, if you ever needed any proof that the Congress is totally dysfunctional and unable to do anything, you saw it today. Forget who's at fault. They are, all are for letting it go this far. Both sides are so determined to undermine the other, they can't even figure out how to do something they both want, extend the payroll tax cut. If this gridlock continues, it will be a fitting end to a year in which Congress accomplished absolutely nothing. Nothing unless you want to give them credit for not allowing the government to shut down. I give them no credit for that because I think it's the least we should expect of the people we send to Washington. Yet that was what they spent most of their time arguing about. What made this latest episode more odious than usual is that by sending the legislation to a conference committee, House Republicans killed the Senate legislation but did not have to go on record as saying they had voted to give people a tax increase. But make no mistake, this is exactly what they have done if this stands. There is a reason that Congress has a 9% approval rating, and today's annex are like putting up a neon sign to remind people of it. Thank you, Bob.